Isaac! We won. Don't ask how our friends are there. Isaac! Isaac! Isaac? Isaac! 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 I go seep. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Golden Sun Nuzlocke Class Changing Bonanza Challenge. Now, this is going to be an important episode, and it might be a bit longer of one than two. We've got all of Toby to kind of talk to an explorer, as well as Colosso itself. Colosso is a little lengthy, but... I think we should be able to blaze through it, and we'll end kind of immediately after Colosso ends. So let's see how far we can get for today. It also, however, means that Isaac's loadout is very important. So... I've only ever, like with the rest of the game, I've only ever done Colosso Mono Elemental, and I'm kind of used to things going a certain way. So... It's more important that we deal with him and get him the right Jin loadout rather than a class setup here. Let's see, we've got Cavalier, Enchanter, Shaman, and Aesthetic. They all do still need to change their class. That that still is a thing. We'll give you Sap. It's a good way to deal damage. Changes Ivan to a Diviner and Isaac to a Defender. Get rid of Ember. We'll give you... Ritz will give you granite. It's getting dangerously close to Mono Elemental. Can't give him any more Venus. Defender to a Swordsman. Which gives him Cutting Edge. That is a pretty strong... Um, Synergy to have on one on one fights, which is what we're going to be dealing with. You lose Ply, though. Oh! No change! So, no, no, we want you to. Yeah, then, then you have Ply. Okay, that's, that's huge. Okay, so we have the class we want Isaac to be. He's going to be a defender. Is there any other Jin that we would prefer to have? Height might be nice, but that takes away his defender. So far, the only one we've changed is Ivan. That's fine. I think I'm willing to let that kind of be his loadout. So then we need to change up now. For the rest of them, it's more important on what utility synergy they have. Because they, and I won't spoil how, are going to be helping us cheat. Now, Garrett's got move. We might have to give some of those synergy-giving items to someone else. Ivan's got growth. That's huge. Someone definitely needs growth. And you've got frost and douse, which is good. Both of those help. Um, the only other one that I think helps is force and maybe whirlwind. Hmm. Do you want to test your luck at Toby Spring? Sure. Really? Well, then I'll give you the chance to go first. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't actually ready for that, though, bud. Okay, so... Um, we do have to change up these loadouts, that's right. Let's... Try that. Enchanter to Illusionist. You don't really change, that's fine. Uh, what if we... An aesthetic to Ranger! Ooh, I don't think I've seen Ranger yet. What do you do? Slash, Wind Slash, you keep your Douse, and you keep your Frost. Nice, okay. That works out quite well. So that's Illusionist, Diviner, and Ranger. Pretty sure that's different for Ivan, but let's maybe... Ooh, Diviner to an Elder, that's definitely different. You lose Growth, though. Prism and Plasma don't help us. That's a cool uh, class name, though. 
Illusionist Ruffian. You become our growth person. And you just change. Okay. I'm pretty alright with that. Ivan no longer has any synergy, but that's fine. We can give him the force gem if we need to, or have him put all of his gin on standby to do a uh, whirlwind. So, okay, that's not bad. I keep losing coins, but I just can't stop. What's wrong with me? We'll check that out in a minute because we get a few more. Uh, we actually get lucky medals throughout the rest of the game, but there's at least one more to be had in Tolby itself, and we will be grabbing it. Colossal will reach the apex any minute now. Let's hurry to the Coliseum so we can see the gladiators fighting. Got to get to the Coliseum. What do I do if I miss the height of the battle? Are you planning to watch the finals? They may have already started. I'm battled to the death of seven strapping warriors. Oh, it's so exciting. <clears throat> I overslept again, so I can't get into the Coliseum. Maybe I should buy good seats from the scalper. It's supposed to be free. Having to buy seats from scalpers is annoying. Oop, curse is on screen, sorry about that. Now we did already do all of our gear set up before we like went out doing stuff last episode, but I will still I'm actually gonna keep that vial because Oh no, we've got potions, that's fine. We've got nine lucky metals. Also, this is the place where we use the lucky tickets game tickets or whatever they're called, but um, I'm only going to be using a few. I'm going to be saving most of them for Golden Sun 2, because they will transfer with the rest of our inventory. Nobody else has noticed, but this year's festival seems a little long. No matter how I add it up, this year's festival is longer. Because Babby was missing. The Coliseum was so full that I couldn't get in. I only did the lucky guess. I could still buy seats from a scalper, but I hate doing that. If you miss the finals at Toby's Festival, you'll regret it. Why don't you hurry on to the Coliseum for the very moving finale? If you're not interested in the final battles, can we trade spots? Well, normally the, uh, the great healers tend to be... A little against violence and such, but this one seems to be into the spirit. I thought something happened to Babby. He made an appearance at the finals, though, so I guess it was nothing. So why were the soldiers all distraught if nothing was wrong with Babby? Well, I guess so, since he's in the Coliseum now. So what were Babby's soldiers doing searching through town? Huh? When they found him in time for the finals. That sounds ludicrous. Honestly, we probably did miss out on a lot of dialogue by not uh, exploring the town first, then talking to, you know, helping Dabby, then coming back to talk to everybody, but, you know. Sometimes efficiency wins out, and habit born through many playthroughs does what it does. I have seats to the finals. They cost money. It is too much. They're selling final seats right at the Coliseum entrance. It's too much. Here I am in Tolby for the finals, but I'm stuck house-sitting. If somebody else would watch the house for me, I could see the festival. I mean, I'm sure he'd be fine. Just lock the door. I mean, you're not even preventing theft when you're inside, so just, you know, go check it out. I doubt anybody will care. Step right up and try your hand at Lucky Wheels. 41 game tickets. So here's one of the games. This is the one that is awesome in Golden Sun 2. It slots. Oh, are there boots in this game? Oh, okay, they're just very rare. That's interesting. Uh, unfortunately, Isaac, you end up not having enough inventory space to be able to hold boots, so we're gonna give it to someone else. We'll do a few more of these. Actually, shoot, I might end up using all my lucky tickets. I mean, that's fine. We'll get lots. Uh, okay, so... I'm gonna go for a ring, since we almost have it on the top there. Moons are wild, in case it's not clear.
Oh, come on. Aim. There is one other game we can play here, though, so... This is gonna be a nut. A vile. Okay. Take a vile. going on down here. Diagonal also works, by the way, as well as vertical. Although, you can't really get a vertical. But I guess it's just, that's, it, I guess it's just diagonal and horizontal. Yeah, we'll try on this. Oh, there we go. That's what I was going for. Boots. Ooh, give those to Garrett. Yeah, there you go, bud. This will be our last one on this game. Nice. That's a ring. A sleep ring. You know what? Sure. You've got the healing ring. Um, Maya, why don't you take the sleep ring? Have fun. Right, we'll keep going. Once the finals begin, everyone tries to pitch out on work. I'm the one who really wants to skip work to watch the finals. So, Colosso is ending soon. It's kind of sad. I don't have any particular interest in the fighting of Colosso, but I am a little sad the festival is going down. The moment I hear the finals are starting, I want to go watch. Weird. Hasn't the master gone to Colosso yet? lady must be keeping tight watch this year. It's hard to fool her. I think maybe his earlier line was something like, I don't really want to go check out Colosso. I'm fine. The wife has a close eye on me, so I can't go see Colosso. But if I don't soon, the finals will start without me. If the master slips out, the lady will be upset. That's our chance. What's with the master? He'd better go soon. Maybe I'll do some research on the finals for next year's Colosso. The trial battles weren't quite like I imagined. It's probably a good idea to watch the finals, too. The Colosso finals are starting soon. Shall we go to the Coliseum? I think uh, everybody who was on our boat was late, so nobody could get in. I want to see the finals, but not all the praising of the winner. Yeah. This year, I'm not letting anyone skip work for Colosso. No one's gotten away so far. Yeah, why are you down here? Once things settle down, I'm sure these folk will go to the Coliseum too. I thought all men loved those battles. Each their own, I suppose. We women are the only ones who aren't hoping to sneak out. But this is no joke. We'll have to do all the work if they leave. Okay, yeah, that's this one. No? Is it? Oh, it's after. Yeah, okay. There's a lucky medal in that room uh, with a bit of a cutscene around it, but that's, I guess, after Colosso. Alright, that's fine. Here's the other game where we can spend tickets. Getting triple digits is real tough! Thinking won't help you in this game. When I tried to think about how to throw the dice, I lose. Maybe I think too much. Is this, is this your first time to play Lucky Dice? Once you start playing, you won't want to stop. There's no other game in all the lands that's this much fun. Lucky Dice is all the rage at Toby. You can play it all year round. Sometimes people who've never played Lucky Dice win the most. They call that beginner's luck. And there are always scalpers at the Colossal Finals. I think scalpers only try to cheat folks coming in from the countryside. There's no way poor soldiers like us can afford scalp tickets. I don't want to stop playing Lucky Dice, but I can't spend any more. My luck has run out for today. I better quit playing. 
Here we go. Whee! Ooh, two pair. The thing about Lucky Dice is it's really hard to lose. You can, but at the very least, you usually win your money back. See there, I lost one out of like how many I've thrown? But it's not super exciting. What you of course want is to get, roll the same dice and have them both land on the same tile. That gives you the biggest payout. Ooh, a little bit of a losing streak there, my goodness. So that's Lucky Dice. You lost 800 coins. Better luck next time. Oof. Yeah, that's fine. No. We're super lucky dice. Oh, super lucky dice, Golden Sun 2 only. It totally is. Uh, I don't really care for lucky dice. Like, like it's it's fine, but uh, nah, super lucky dice is much more fun. For now, uh, there's the stall people here. We actually can't go into the palace yet. Be patient, little oh guy. I'll buy you better sweets than those later on. Festivals are so expensive, my wallet's empty. How about you some colossal souvenirs? This is your last chance. 30% off. You can't sell anything once the finals end. We have to sell it now. My family saved me a seat at the Coliseum, so I'm set. Still, we'll get the colossal soon. Final start on Babby's signal. I love that. The finals are so long. It's a good idea to buy some food to take along. This is the final push. Anything that isn't sold will go to waste. After Klaus is over, we get a free corn from uh, one of those two stalls. No, I'm not joking. A literal piece of corn. Uh, and we also get one free corn in the second game. And here's a fun story for you. I won't go into super heavy detail. You can look it up if you want to read the whole story. It is still out there on the internet. But in Golden Sun, a very old, back when ugh, Golden Sun 2 is still relatively new, there was an internet urban legend about an item in the game called the Wheat Sword, uh, which had a special unleash called Dutch Farmer. And it was brokenly overpowered. Like, it had, like, 999 attack, and the unleash was, like, way stronger than the strongest unleash in either game. And it had this big, massive, like, chain of things that you had to do like, very obscure and time-specific things. One of them was that you need both pieces of corn. So you had to make sure you got the corn in the first game, had it in your inventory, and then uh, made sure you do the gold password transfer um, to get it. And it involved Kraden. Like, I think it made Kraden a final boss, like a secret final boss kind of thing, because he was the one who was wielding the, the wheat sword. It was dumb, it was stupid, it was early internet, but I love and cherish the myth of the, uh, the Wheat Sword. And if I ever make a game, I will be adding it as a secret unlock weapon with a super obscure, random-ass chain that it's as close as faithful to the original story as I can get, including both pieces of corn. For now, though, we are cornless. Check out the Tolby Spring. Tolby Springs, mysterious powers. Stand with your back to the spring and throw a coin at the target. I get nervous when I toss coins backwards. I wish I could face forward. You have a lucky medal? Oh, you do? How? You're lucky. That means you'll be extra lucky if you toss it in the fountain. Hmm, if I were going to try my luck, I'd want to use a lucky medal. Why won't anyone give me a lucky medal? Gotta find one, bro. Too bad I only have one lucky man. I don't want to risk losing it if I miss, since it's my only one. This is a lucky man, so it should be okay if I miss by a bit. I need all the good luck I can get. So you can throw coins in, you can earn a bit of money. That's not what the lucky metal fountain is for. 
We want to throw the lucky medals in, get them as close to the bullseye as possible, and they will bounce off everything. It's not a bad throw. Ooh, synergy armor? Spirit armor. We already had synergy armor. second game, um, which introduces summon tablets, like literally new summons you can find and collect, nice. Uh, one of them is in that game's version of the Lucky Fountain. Hydra Shield, Earth Shield. Alright, Hydra Shield is uh, orangey. It's probably going to be a potion or a water of life, I believe. Ooh, an actual item. A glittering tiara. And what do we have? Five. Not bad. And a depth helm. Top one's gonna be a bit of a problem. Ugh. Get that gross ass water of life out of here. It tastes like shit, bro! If someone took Bud Light and seltzered it, I don't know. I wanted to make a beer reference, but I don't drink beer. Is Bud Light a gross beer? Comment down below your favorite type of beer and whether or not you think Bud Light is gross because it was the first one that popped into my head. Look at that! Threading the needle right through for a perfect. I mean, still not, you know, directly dead center, which doesn't bother me in the slightest. No, not at all. Ooh. Uh, I don't think that's cursed. Okay. Pretty sure the assassin's blade is fine. The last one! I'm going for one of the yellow. Ah, uh, that's outside. That's unfortunate. I don't think that's cursed either, despite the outline. Alright, let's see how everything goes. Spirit armor, that's enough for defense boost, I'm willing to lose the agility. Can't have the armlet, ninja hood. Uh, it's not cursed, okay? Go ahead and take it. Tiara. Literally only for Maya. Go ahead and have it. Prevents delusions, not bad. I guess. So, just as good. Sure, give that to Ivan. Is that it? I think that is it. Okay, not bad. Oh, Elvin, sure, you're unique, aren't you? Were, but yeah, it's everybody's out fast by now. Long while. Okay, cool. Well, that was the Lucky Fountain. Or Tolby Spring, as it was called there. Armor doesn't really matter for Colosso, as you'll find out later. Actually, technically, neither does items. Right. Inventory doesn't matter. I am honestly ready to get this show a roll.
Want to try out the lucky guess? Aren't you Isaac, the one handpicked by Babby? Look, I'm sorry, but we have some rules to help keep things legit. Warriors who made the finals and their team members can't play. It's betting. I don't really want to talk to any of the rest of you. Hey, you're Isaac. Oh, you're kidding. That's Isaac? The one Babby picked? Yeah, there's no mistaking it. He's Isaac for sure. He's just a kid. What does Babby think Colosso is, Playground? Putting him in the finals is an insult to everyone who cleared the trials. Don't you people have faith in Babby? Babby wouldn't let him in the, to the finals just to repay a favor. I guess Babby wouldn't let Isaac in if he weren't a good match. We've been waiting for you and your friends, Isaac. All of the colossal participants go to the waiting room, okay? Alright, this way please. Ooh, sepia uh, exposition time. Huh? Isaac's the only one entering the finals. The warriors entered in the finals must go in alone. But why Isaac? That is what Babby wanted. But I wanted to enter too! We aren't accepting any more entries. Well, Master Isaac, please prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. I guess all you can do is get it over with, Isaac. I know you want to enter too, Garrett, but there's nothing we can do. This is crazy! Isaac won't survive against those colossal warriors! Rude. If Isaac wants to win, he'll have to use synergy. Well, Babby does seem very interested in his synergy. Even so, how is he supposed to use it here? What did Babby say we're supposed to do while Isaac is competing? You made a slight exception. You can cheer him on from the stage. You'll be able to see from right up close. This is the first time it has ever been permitted. You should thank Babby for the chance to sit in these special seats. If everything is settled, I shall take you there. Um, can't Isaac go to see the final stages too? I bet you want to learn as much as you can about the finals, hey Isaac? Come on, you can make another exception, can't you? Go Ivan. I don't see the harm in it. I don't believe Isaac. I can't believe Isaac is entering midway through Colossus. This is a first. Totally unheard of. Like I said earlier. Are we ready? I'll give you a tour of the arena. Let's go. Alright, so now what you're going to witness is cheating maliciously. Set of the first stage battle. So this is where warriors test their metal against each other. Well, no, it's actually more than that. What else is involved? The warriors are racing to get here first and get the best equipment. So there's an advantage in getting here first? That's quite a test. And that's too hard for Isaac. We must support him as well as we can. Um, don't you want to hear my explanation? Sure. Alright, then let me explain in detail. Warriors enter the finals without any of their own equipment. Please look over there. This is the starting point of the first stage of the finals. You must get through several stages before you reach the arena. The chests along the way contain items that may be useful in battle. This is the battle arena. After getting here, the warriors do battle. You can get weapons in the arena too, but one is weaker than the other. So you'll have the advantage if you get here first. Awesome! You can use the equipment you get here in your next match. What do you think, guys? Do you understand the rules for the finals? You'll notice that each stage has its own attendant. Ask the attendants for explanations of the stages. Isaac, you're a contestant in the finals. Do not forget that. I'll be right here, so come see me when you're done looking things over. Hey, where do we cheer from? Would you like to visit the stages and hear a description for each one? Yes, we'll decide where to cheer for Isaac after hearing the descriptions. And so that's how Colossal works. So we've got one, two, probably four, three, 
four. And then it's one more for each stage. There are three um, legs, I should say. Three fights. Last one being like the championship, the final. I'm not going to be doing voice to these guys or really reading them. Alright, so uh, someone with move can help move this over, which will prevent having to deal with this entirely. You can just hop over already. So that's how we can cheat on this one if we choose. So we can stick Garrett there if we need. Which one's this? Uh, we can't cheat on this one. Uh, we might be able to cast Douse from there, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, okay, we can cast Douse there. And of course, each person, uh, you can only do one per area. They can only do one spell. Growth there. She just immediately skipped the whole bridge puzzle. Got growth, douse. Sorry, move, douse, growth. And nothing we can do for cheating here, okay. This one's just be quick. That's fine. So we'll have Garrett on the left. I think it's Ivan in the middle. And then Maya in the third. Oh, no, Garrett's my growth expert right now. I think you were a diviner at the start of this. That's fine. Yeah, okay. So, growth, er, move, growth, depths. Okay, so. This one was growth. Yeah. Okay, good. Now... We're locked in. I mean, I could stay, reload the state, of course, but... It's fine. First one's not too bad. Prepare yourselves, contestants. The finals will begin shortly. This guy? I'm rated as the second best, but I'll prove them wrong. The name's Zazart. Don't tell me you're the one Babby handpicked to be in the finals. I'm not gonna lose to someone who didn't even clear the trials. Pretty sure you're the first one we fight. I am Morgan. I am the highest ranked warrior. I am going to win the finals. And don't you forget it. Come to question me. You are Isaac? I had closed my eyes to focus my mind before battle. My name is Satrage. I am the fourth ranked warrior. I'm pretty sure you're the second person we fight. I am the Vampire of Gondor, the sixth ranked warrior. You're the warrior Babby selected, the one they're all talking about. I had rumors that you were a huge, hulking man. I guess they were wrong. You're either the third person or the second person. So these three here are the three we'll be fighting. Azart, Navampa, and Saturage. I am Buford, the seventh seed. All who cleared the trials are powerful warriors. This is a balanced match. Anyone could win today. Oh, I meant to talk to the other two. No, no. 
Ugh! Don't frighten me! Uh, I'm incredibly nervous. Uh, what? Me? Uh, I'm Galahad, the third seated fighter. Uh, I can't wait any longer. When do we start? Decker must win the finals. Decker. Decker. He won't answer no matter how much you speak to him. He's trying to get himself psyched up for the battle. The finals can't be won that easily. Hey, any day now! We're tired of waiting! Let's get this thing started! I agree! Let the finals begin already! Uh, yeah, I'll show you! We're here to win the finals! Hey, what's the matter? Hurry up and start! Line up starting with the top ranked warrior and await the signal. Yeah, get on your spots, everybody. Now then, chosen warriors, let the finals begin! All my voices for today are a little messy, but that's fine. Getting ready to save state. Oh, right, we have to cheat first. I like how it says take your seats when there's literally no seats anywhere. Pretty sure this works. Beautiful. Alright, here we go. We are, of course, going to be grabbing all of the chests. And I'm not going to be looking myself, but you can actually see the progress of the uh, computer player over there. I would really love to see, like, a, um, a customizable version of this. Where you could, like, generate your own Colossal things and two people could actually fight at it. That'd be really cool. All items get... Got the thing. He's not that far behind, but now we have to wait for him. That is how much leeway we have. Alright, here we go. Colosso number one. Damage. Now they mainly use items and attacks on us. I'd like to get a status check off if I can't hear good, we gotta sleep. <laughs> he napped through his whole thing. Oh, you'll love to see it. Get absolutely demolished, Azart. I see you've made it through your first match. Winning your first match after jumping right into the finals is awesome. But I should have expected as much from a warrior selected by Babby. How quickly they've changed their tune. Now, we can go have a look at the next series of stages. Cool. <laughs> Isaac, that first match was terrific! I'll be right here, so tell me when you're done looking around. Alright, so there should be five, so there's gonna be two that they can't help on this time. We could do move here. If we move, I believe, this one 
over? No, this one over, then we can just jump straight without having to do the maze. Yeah. So if we want to cheat, that's how we cheat. For that one, honestly, I can probably just do on its own. No way to cheat this one, okay. Oh, this one can be done with a freeze. Um, the obvious one would be to freeze that left patch there, but we'll want to grab the chest that's up top. Again. Yeah, we would freeze this one over here, which would let us take this over, go down, hop, hop, and go. The solution is to get up here. Wait, just take that over, and then we don't need to cheat. Hardly any time save there. I don't really get how this one's a cheat at all. Yeah, this one's actually kind of bad to cheat on, because you really just want to take that top path. Oh, I see. We have to be right here to get in there. Right? Take a look at it one more time. You can see just the very top bit there. Oh no, okay, there's not even a chest there. There's no chest here. Why did I think there was? Then yeah, boom, we just take the top one. No big. Yeah, that's basically the same amount of time. Okay. What's this one? This one I think uses force. Is this the belt? No. Oh, this one here, it's helpful if Isaac himself has growth. Because uh, our growth can't reach. Trust me, I've tried. Over if we want the chest, which we do. Yeah, that just takes us down. Oh, whoops. You do not have growth, okay. Interesting. It's the last one, it's the last one. Oh, here's force. Okay, here's force. Yeah, alright. Chest is behind this one. Interesting. Not a whole lot of great options here. So the very last one, we know we want someone with force on there. Uh, this one, nobody can help. This one, Frost can help. This one... Leave nobody can help. Yeah, nobody can help this one. And then this one was moves. Okay, we might as well do that. So. I guess we give Ivan the force gem. Good that uh, we can keep our synergy items. Okay, so we put Garrett here. <clears throat> uh, just gonna double check. I'm pretty sure this is. Yeah, okay, this is the Frost one. So Maya here. Very last one was 
Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to do this again. Alright, round two, let's go! We do want this one over because then we can go down and then hop over and then hop over. This might need to be aimed a little bit differently, but I'm pretty sure from this side. Yeah. And then this is the one we want to freeze. Not that it really helps much, but it's, hey, it's better than it We're on the right this time. Over. You have to wait this cycle out. but it's the principle of the thing. Go! Yeah, nothing there. Okay, go! Oh my god, that was close. Oh! Massive butt punch. Okay, saturate. So Navampa is our final target. Hey, that fat scorch, bro. Get stunned. Keep a uh, mist on standby and just cutting edge him to death. Okay, mist is no longer on standby because we have to fly. Actually, now it is on standby. Aha! Stay asleep, bro. Rip. I would have preferred that not happen. I'm getting paralyzed again. That was, that was pretty sweet. Yeah, that's fine. That doesn't too much. Can unleash judgment on him. Why would you waste your turn and defend? Get cutting edge. You deserve that. You, oh my god, you absolutely deserve everything coming to you, my guy. Get absolutely demolished. By the way, Colosso is optional to win. Uh, you can absolutely lose Colosso, and then you just lose Colosso. You do not get another chance. But you get a pretty nice item out of it uh, if you do win, and of course, completionism and pride. You've managed to win both of your matches. You're incredible, Isaac. If you win the next one, you'll be the champion. Fantastic performance, just as Babby expected. I won't underestimate you again. Let me take you to the next group of stages. Alright, this is the last leg. There should be six segments of this portion. So we can only cheat on half of them. 
Honestly, Isaac, I didn't think you'd make it this far. I'll be right here, so tell me when you're done looking around. Alright, what are we rocking here? Frost would help. Yeah, we wouldn't have to push that thing at all. So we can maybe have someone cheat there. Oh, we can do a move here, which uh, lets us skip the entire upper portion of that there. Pretty handy, we might do that. So far, uh, there's only been like one good option for each person to cheat on. Um, but I think this one does give us a few choices. Oh, no one here. actually involves using time. Oh, and no one can cheat here either. Again, Isaac can use growth if he has it available. Which technically I could get if I uh, put every gin except for Scorch on standby. That one seems worth... Um, Messing around with my gin for a moment. Oh, that's another force. Okay, that's for Ivan. Kills the conveyor belt entirely. Last one. Last one. And nobody can help here. Okay. This one we, all, we just actually got to kind of do. Okay. Actually, you know what? Really quick, we're gonna go boom and boom. Pretty sure. I, I hope those shortcuts stayed. They have lost on these characters here. Also, love how I can literally be standing like right here, right next to them. How are you meant to do this one? Oh, you weigh this down using this. Okay. Alright, let's go. Okay, 
We're about to find out if the shortcuts remained. Nope. Didn't see it. sure how you're meant to do that one without cheating. Like, without being able to cast move, you know? Only an adept could have cleared that. I mean, I guess, in the universe, they could have, like, pulled instead of pushed, but we could only push. It's sad that we have to stand there and wait. There we go. We'll have to Claymore. Final battle begin. Oh, I didn't... I didn't change my gin. That could be bad. That could be really bad. Yeah. One scorch get. Nope. Okay, that's fine. We can take an extra hit. Why don't you go ahead and take a side yell? We're gonna need the Venus gym back. Next we get miss going to Ouch. Huh. <laughs> Mono Elemental. Waste of your turn, you love to see it. You get the sleep off. Ah, lovely. Wakes him up, that's fine. I hit him with the side of the L next, and that might be enough for the KO. Now, reminder... That's a win, by the way. Reminder that uh, non-adepts cannot see synergy. I'm sure they can feel its effects, but they can't see it, okay? I've always wondered, can they see summons? And exactly how much of what we see for a summon is actually happening? Because uh, you'll see, some of the summons we get later on are, like, bordering on Sephiroth supernova levels of everything is absolutely destroyed now. Isaac! We won. Don't ask how our friends are there. Isaac! 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 I go seep. That's still a win, though, even though uh, we're sleeping and he's just fucking kneeling there. Isaac fell asleep. He must be exhausted. Let's leave him to sleep for now. Isaac. Huh? You've awakened. Also, duh, that ended long ago. You fell into a deep sleep, don't you remember? Of course he doesn't, he was out cold. You had us worried. I'm sorry for shouting at you. 
You fought brilliantly to the end, Isaac. Babby was singing your praises. Are you okay now? In body and mind? You better be alright after sleeping this long. Sheesh! No idea how long he was asleep for, by the way. I'm guessing a few days. I'm sorry for shouting again. Babby said he wanted to see you when you came to, Isaac. If you're okay, shall we go see Babby? You're fine, aren't you, Isaac? I'm more worried about what Babby wants. Let's get going. Now, of course, we have all of the palace to explore here. I had to choose to jump out of bed there. Are you sure you should be getting up so suddenly like that? He's fine. He doesn't want to lo lounge around all day. I see. Let's go see Babby then. Cool. We'll definitely explore all of that next time. Uh, yeah. For now, though, this is where we are going to leave things off for today. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time for some more GSNCCBC. Bye-bye.